Okay, welcome back. Now let's dive into this Clients tab because this is where you're going to see a lot of what you can do. Now first off, I use toggles. I like things to be clean so when I'm not looking at something, I can hide it, which I think is very, very helpful. Um, but let's dive into this client, this first one. So this is going to be a list of your clients that you currently have. So you have active, you have prospects, you have past clients, or you have all clients. So these are just different ways. It basically, think of it as a filter. Um, that's all it is. I've turned on different filters and you can see different lists based on whatever filter you have applied. You can also make your own filters. And so that is, this filter is filtering on this column here, the status column. So you'll want to use these initially. Again, you can change these to later. Um, again, the tutorials will show you how, but you don't have to use the exact labels I'm using, but just know that these are what's driving these right here. So if you make changes, you're going to, you want to know a little bit about Notion before you start making changes to this column. This column here is the programs that you have, and this you could definitely change up, you know, name it any which way you want. You can delete these. Again, the tutorial will show you how. But what you can do here is take a look at the clients you have and it'll tell you how many clients you have currently, how many prospects you might be looking at, how many past clients you have that maybe you want to reach out to and get them re-engaged. Um, so this is a great way to just see who you've worked with and who you're currently working with. And then you have your dates so you can see when they've started working with you and if they've purchased a certain package that gives them six weeks or three months or whatever, you can put your start and end dates. You can email them, which I love having the ability to email a client right from here. So you click this, it'll open up your email service, whatever you have on your computer and you can talk to them or you can just give them a call. You have their phone number right here, which I love. So this shows up here and it shows you their start and date dates. And then down here you have their appointments that you can see. And you can see, okay, uh, John has an intake at five o'clock on this date. This was his second appointment, third. Um, so you can kind of, I'm oh, sorry, this is his third, this is his fourth. So you can see kind of all your appointments. And remember, we talked about the conference and the doctor's appointment. This is the same calendar that you saw on the first screen. Same thing, but now you can see it quickly here while you're on your client's page. You can also see this as a list view. So if you want to see your list of your upcoming appointments, if you want to see your past appointments, all appointments, so it's just a matter of what views you want to see. So that's just, a, a again, an overview showing you how you really don't need to use GCAL anymore or any other kind of calendar. You can keep it all right here. Now, I will say this isn't as robust as Google Calendar. Definitely not. I'm not trying to say that it is. But for running your business, this should be able to do what you need it to do. So we're going to spend some time here diving in here. So this is where you as the coach would kind of keep all your notes. So here's John Doe, let's open him up. So if you hover over his name, so you get the ability to open things up, so open it up. And here's where you're gonna be able to put, so again, here's all those appointments we saw on the calendar showing up right here. Here's the program he has, the status, the start and end date. So the same things you saw in that list view are here, but now we get to drill down. So now here's his appointments. And anytime you do new and add an appointment, it's going to now show up on the calendar as soon as you pick the date and the time. So let's just do, uh, so we'd be on fifth, right? Fifth appointment, you need to name it something. It has to have some kind of name. And then you can pick in his date. So let's say, I think he had one right through here. So maybe put the sixth. And then you can, if you want to put a time, which I would highly recommend, you can put the time in. And so now it's got a client name, it's got his phone number, and it's got the date of May 6th. So if we looked at his calendar again, let's jump out real quick, look at the calendar, so we'll go to May, and there's that appointment we just created. So it automatically shows up down here. You don't have to do anything as far as your clients go. As long as you put it up here in your client, then you don't have to do it again. Um, see, now the fifth shows up here, the fifth shows up here. So this is how you can do your appointments very, very easily as you're talking to them on the, on the phone. You can say, hey, let's make our next appointment, schedule it in, it's right here. Now this page is also right here where you're working, which is what I love. So again, these are toggles you could open and close. And I'm going to show you in a minute how you customize this, but this would be a spot for you to put your notes the very first time you talk to them. And then you could hide those notes because you don't, might not need to see them again. If you have an intake and you want to take notes on your intake conversation, you could put those here. And then you have your session notes. So you would just duplicate this session one, session two, session three, right? So all the times that you're talking to them, you can keep your notes right in here. So you're making your appointment, you don't need to leave the screen. You're talking to them on the session, you don't need to leave the screen. It's all right here and you can kind of just keep all your notes, which I love, it's just all handy, it's very easy. There's nothing too techy about this, right? You just start typing and work away and that's kind of how you can keep track of everything you need to know about John Doe. Now, this is a template, right? And you can change this. 
So let's click off of John. If you go over here to this new button, and it's called the client template, and you go over here and edit this template. Now you can do whatever you want. This is just, I was just giving you a place to start. I wouldn't mess with this block. Please don't mess with this block till you know what you're doing in Notion because this will screw up your whole appointment thing if you mess with it. So please don't mess with this table up here. Work with this one down here. This you can change up and you can apply and you can cre create it any which way you want. These are all just, again, know some basic functionality about Notion, but these are just text and you can change this up to however you think, however you conduct your sessions. And then this is now going to be a template. So whenever you have a new client, so new client, and you open them up. So you can see like this has a template applied because there's that little head, right? If I open this up, there's no little icon here, right? So as soon as I put this template, so this would be if you changed it up, now you see the little head shows up here, and now all that information now drops in. So you can do that as well to make this any way you want. I'm just going to delete this so we don't have it in the history. Um, so you can change these up. Just know that when you change the client template over here, it's not going to change somebody you've already applied it to. You have to go back and apply it. So that's just one thing to have in mind. But now you can do anything you want with tracking your clients. You don't have to have note pages all over the place. You don't have to have Google Docs. You know, we've just replaced Google Docs now. So in here, you've got everything you need to know about your clients. You can drag them. So maybe you don't want session one at the top, like we can close this up and let's say you want session three at the top because that's how you think you want to see the most recent session. You can keep going that way and have sessions going that order. So whichever way, you know, you don't need to scroll, scroll, scroll. And that's why I love to use toggles. I can hide some stuff. And in the middle of the call, you can go back and say, well, what did he say in session two? You can pop this open, talk to them, and then go right into your session three conversation. It's all right here in one place. So. How cool is that? So now you can run your sessions. You can be putting links in here too. If you want to have your Zoom link in here, you could put that in here. And we're going to go into the client portal in a second, which will show you some even more cool stuff that you can do. But this is for you as the coach to how you can talk to your, how you can um, keep track of your clients and all your notes regarding each of their sessions. In the next video, we're going to go into here, which is how you, you communicate with your clients. So hold on for the next session.